I'm Gustavo Almeida, I'm assistant professor at the Department of Physical Therapy at the ET Health San Antonio. Um, I'm uh, uh, teaching uh, two courses, one in the fall and one in the spring. I'm the director for exercise physiology in rehabilitation and I'll be co-teaching uh, movement science one uh, in the spring and uh, I'll be doing mostly research, that's why I came here. Uh, I'll be uh, working with uh, Dr. Ortiz and Dr. Reisiter developing programs to rehabilitate people with uh, knee osteoarthritis uh, and my focus, is, uh, my focus, my research focus is in uh, um, physical activity and uh, health promotion and also improvements in physical function in people with knee osteoarthritis. So I was at the University of Pittsburgh for 12 years. I did my PhD there. Uh, in rehabilitation sciences and uh, I uh, uh, became a faculty member in uh, 2015 and I was teaching there since then. Uh, I was teaching kinesiology in an undergrad program and the, the uh, master's program in prosthetics and orthotics and Dr. Ortiz found me and uh, invited me to come for an interview here at the UT Health. Um, and that was October 2018 and I came for the interview, fell in love with, the, with the, the whole system, the university, the environment, people here. I met all my current co-workers and uh, I love the weather here too because <laughs> Pittsburgh is very cold. So uh, we have nine, nine months winter and uh, I'm not looking forward to go back there. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, I was a, a swimmer first and I, I became a uh, triathlete when I was 13. My knee went really bad when I was 17. Got a knee surgery, went to physical therapy, done. I loved it. I, I felt that was a great match for me, being with the patient all the time, learning about their, their experiences, learning about their, uh, their lives, and treating their injury. So uh, I loved physical therapy, went to physical therapy school back in Brazil, did my, my PT training there, worked for, for a clinic for um, five years where I treated very famous uh, athletes, uh, TV people. My, uh, my favorite ones were the MMA fighters. Uh, and also I had uh, patients from the Cirque du Soleil that was very interesting too. It was very rich experience for me. And I did my master's degree back in Brazil as well. And uh, when I was planning to do my PhD, I actually uh, paid a visit to Pittsburgh and just to learn more about the, of what they were doing research-wise. And uh, I spent three, three months there, got back to, to Sao Paulo where I was working in Brazil establish a program in, uh, to uh, prevent injuries, knee injuries in, uh, in soccer players. And uh, all of a sudden I was invited to, to come back to Pittsburgh to do my PhD. I, I guess they, they liked me there. So uh, they invited me with a full scholarship. I went back to, to Pittsburgh to, to do my PhD in 2007 when I started. And, uh, and uh, my, the field of, of, uh, of uh, research that my, my advisor offered me to, to get into was all about arthritis. So she was seeing at that time patients with rheumatoid arthritis, patients with knee osteoarthritis who were, were going through a uh, knee replacement, for example. And I got into that field and started developing something different from what my, my advisor was doing that was improving physical function and I felt that we should do physical activity and because those people they were getting better at phys with their physical function going upstairs sitting down getting up but they were not getting more active so I developed a program to uh, start promoting physical activity in people with a uh, uh, total knee replacement and that's what I love doing right now and uh, we are going to move forward with this 
these programs, trying to get these people moving um, better and more earlier after their total knee replacement. Yeah, so people after, uh, after a knee replacement, they, they have a lot of fears, right? Because it's a big surgery. They usually say, I have this bionic knee now. Can't go through the, the airport machine. They're gonna, it's gonna beep. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so they have a lot of fears like bending their knees, doing more, but they have to understand that they actually can do more because now they have they have a bionic knee, right? So they, uh, they actually can do all the sports they, 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 they want, uh, but try to avoid impact sports. For example, running is not a good thing for, 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 uh, for a person after a total knee replacement. Um, basketball, all these sports that involve jumping, they're not a good idea, but double tennis is a good idea, walking, you know, in a power walk, we always recommend that so you can get to the more moderate to vigorous activities that's recommended by, uh, by all the guidelines in physical activity nowadays. So they can, they can always do their activities, their daily activities normally, just avoiding more impact, impact sports or impact activities. Oh, welcome. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so uh, to, to our students, I always tell them, do what you love and love what you do. A lot of people get into every profession looking for money. If you do th something that you love, and if you do something that you really uh, enjoy doing, money will come. So uh, don't worry about getting rich, just uh, worry about taking care of your patients.